Okay, last set of uh, tips and tricks for today. It's going to be a few uh, VR specific tips or things that I ran into. So I am using a setup here where I have a level setup. I have a persistent level, I have a calibration map. Once I calibrate, I transfer to a loading map and I have a uh, slight pause at the loading map and then I move on to my motion controller map. So I, up here I can see, or you can see, this is the calibration map. I just put it up here, I don't know why. But I have it up here and the white circle here is the loading map and I unhide everything so I basically only have one of these levels visible at any time and that means that it seems like we're moving back and forth uh, in between rooms okay so what I ran into uh, when I did this and I only did that in a package build really I was working perfect in the editor but uh, once I got to a package build it stopped working so uh, in particular, on my loading level, if we open up that, I have a pawn I switched to, uh, which doesn't have a body. It's a, a super simple pawn, and if I show that, I think I put it here, it's called dummy pawn. It just has a, lo a left and right motion control, so the player has something to wave around while waiting doesn't really take that long but anyway um, and what I found out was that I needed to have this dummy object down here this is pointing to a BP inventory I tried not having any variables at all and what happened was that uh, whenever I got to loading the motion control the map which is the main map that was uh, I was thrown out to the Vive default screen for about two seconds and I had to wait there and then it showed up. So there's a two second delay and I'm sorry if it's noisy outside. There's a two second delay if I didn't have this. Once I added this one it worked. It just transferred me directly in between the levels. I have no idea why but it works. So I, you're not gonna have anything like this. I try adding a uh, but just any a blueprint action really. But I try adding a simple bool or a float or a vector or anything, it didn't work. But once I had a, an actor reference, it was working fine. And it just transferred me directly. I think I built and rebuilt uh, like 50 times alone because of this until I figured out what was giving me the correct result. So hope you can use this for something if you're doing streaming levels in VR very useful and <laughs> super frustrating when I had this okay right so um, on to the next which is a small one actually I don't have that many tips this time but just summing up some of the things from the last week I came across so if I hit play now I have the mirror okay let me just show what we see here So you can see everything looks fine here. If I move the window out of the way, it also looks okay right now for some reason. Sometimes you will see a message saying that light needs to be rebuilt. For some reason it doesn't. It just did a minute ago. But anyway, if you see that, what I because I have rebuilt and rebuilt, and I don't have any any I tried to rebuild light uh, as many times as, as I could. It kept showing up. This lighting needs to be rebuilt. One unbuilt object. So I couldn't get rid of it. And I ended up going into the begin play of my player control. I don't, don't have really have anything in it right now. Uh, no. So um, execute console command. And I think I have it on my... Yeah. Disable all screen messages. And then uh, get controller like this and that actually fixed everything for me so 
in case you see something similar to this and you can't really figure out why we still see this message in the package build maybe it's not strictly for VR but at least it is uh, that's why I ran into it the first time but then again never really built anything so I don't think I have anything else <laughs> that was actually uh, a trivial issue if you are anything like me and you end up maybe spending an entire day trying to do uh, VR stuff once you have a, 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 a small break plug your controllers in because I do it always uh, when I do these uh, full day sessions I end up uh, my controllers they end up uh, um, running out of battery so keep them charging eventually when you want your coding and you know you have like 10 20 minutes where you're not going to be testing them plug them in recharge them because uh, otherwise you're going to run out of power eventually uh, at the end of the day um yeah i hope you can use these things for something um, so again bye for now